hey guys and welcome back to another video hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today i've got here two great machines with me one is the asus dash f15 i will leave a link down below and the other one is a desktop in an open frame viewed and show all the components so i will leave some links right over here and some links down below but in a general manner it has a intel i7 11700 32 gigabytes of ram from s3 plus and zxt cooler and power supply a kfa to RTX 3060 Ti second generation, a Sabrent SSD which is really Fast. So we've got two machines right over here which are really well equipped. By the way, the Asus right over here has also an i7, RTX 3060, 16 gigabytes of RAM, but it's upgradable, with great SSD inside as well, which we can also upgrade with a second one. And I did already share that video, so links right over here. The question that I've been asked is, hey Robert, can I use a laptop to edit videos or do I need to go desktop? Still a few years ago, the question was really simple. Yes, desktop and just get a budget laptop ultrabook slim or something like that that you can take and do your work and do your whatever we are getting laptops such as this one which have slim profile okay it's not as slim as my mac book pro but it's a lot more powerful it has all the ports that i need it has a gpu inside which allow me to play games on the go now i will share with you three results and then at the end i will give you a little bit of my feedback now the tests that i've done so far were in three softwares filmora davinci resolve and adobe premiere by the way filmora i'm using the 11th version beta and it's still on beta it's not in public release as well you still can participate on the beta program really enjoy it and there are really cool features that i will share soon here on the channel but what i will be doing today is to share with you the results that i will get on a 10 minutes and 54 second clip that i did record with my sony zve 10 right over here with a sigma 16 mil and i will also have another clip of 4k resolution 20 seconds that i will uh, replicate until i get a timeline of 10 minutes feel more in terms of rendering times on the 1080 resolution timeline the asus dash f15 took 1 minute and 37 seconds to render this timeline and the laptop took one minute and seven seconds so just awesome awesome and one of the things that i will share in a few days is that it's getting closer and closer to final cut pro 10 at an affordable price so it, i'm really enjoying to use this new version of filmora now when we move to 4k what happens is that the asus dash f15 rendering a 10 minute 4k timeline takes 3 minutes and 57 seconds so a great result as well and the laptop takes 2 minutes and 38 and basically if you are going to use filmora then the answer is probably right over here now let's move on to the davinci resolve which is a software that i love it has pros and cons like anything else it's a really complete piece of software but in terms of rendering it's a different piece dash f15 rendering the 1080 uh, 11 minutes timeline took 6 minutes and 19 seconds while the laptop took 2 minutes and 55 seconds so more or less half right over here which is a huge huge difference now if we move to 4k the asus dash f15 took i did two tests the first test it took 29 minutes and 57 seconds but i did forget to record the moment where i pressed the button and i did forget because i was doing other stuff and there was one thing that i didn't have for sure which was is the laptop in the turbo mode because it has four different modes the silent uh, default performance and turbo and i wanted to make sure that everything was available to the software to to let it work so i just make sure that it was on turbo like i did for the other softwares and started to render and probably it wasn't because uh, we got on the second test that i did 28 minutes to render the 4k 10 minute timeline but almost three times more of the real time of our timeline which is a lot now the desktop took uh, 13 minutes and seven seconds to render this exact same timeline so we are talking about a little bit less than half right over here and i think that if you are going to use davinci resolve because if you really have to use it then 
the answer is right over here as well. Now moving to Adobe Premiere, the Dash F15 took 1 minute and 53 seconds on the 1080 and the desktop took 1 minute and 40 seconds. So really, really great to see these results on Adobe Premiere because it's getting more optimized and more optimized to take advantage of these machines. Now if we move to 4K timeline, the Asus Dash F15 took 4 minutes and 29 seconds and the desktop took 1 minute and 51 seconds. In Adobe Premiere, on the desktop side, we almost don't see any difference between the uh, 1080 and the 4K rendering, which is just awesome. Have in mind that all these results are based on a timeline of 1080 and 4K, but with no effects, no titles, no nothing. So just add, if you start to add effects and color correction and, and titles and things like that, add a few minutes right over here, a few seconds, because it will increase a little bit of the rendering times depending on the amount of effects. Now, having that said, one of the things that I see right over here is if you use Filmora or if you use Adobe Premiere, then the choice is completely free. You can go either the laptop or the desktop way. I do believe that one of the things that we need to do first is to find our budget, this amount, and this amount is enough for the laptop. What components can I get with the same amount of money? And we, we have to add right over here the peripherals and the display and so on and so forth. After that, we will need to decide if we prefer to have a laptop such as this one or a desktop such as this because both worlds are really great. I enjoy to assemble computers but I also enjoy the possibility of one of these machines which I can just plug in later on in a display that I just 4K display for example, play on it and work on it and when I go uh, away just plug in a cable, take it with me and that is great. So both answers are correct it will depend on the way that i want to use my machines if by some reason you have to use davinci resolve then my answer has to be go for a desktop the best that you can buy in terms of money and just go for it and guys this is it hopefully this video will help you to decide if you want to go for a laptop or if you want to go for a desktop both ways are just awesome and there is no black or white uh, answer there's only a gray answer that i will help you with my data right over here but you will have to make the decision for yourself and then if you go to the route of assembling just enjoy it because it's great and if you're going for the route of okay taking out out of the box and just using it it's also really really great if the video was helpful in some way don't forget the usual thumbs up right over here which is really really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one